This video is brought to you by Thunder Laser. And today we're going to continue the theme of high definition laser engraving. So today we're going to take this high resolution black and white photograph of a, a lion. Uh, I've chose this lion photograph because uh, of the, you know, you can pick up individual hairs and I want to see what the computer is going to make of it or how high def it can actually transfer that photograph onto a piece of MDF actually and later on we'll try some uh, real wood as well, pine or something like that. So I'm going to take this photograph and put it into Lightburn and use the tools in Lightburn to manipulate this photograph. Then we're going to try a couple of the different formats uh, in Lightburn to transfer it into the laser and just see the best one that, that suits it. Um, I did try, I think it was Stucky uh, on the last video and it was okay. But uh, I'd like to try grayscale and maybe a couple of the others. So uh, let's see what we can do. So here we have the uh, light burn. Um, I've got it now on a big screen and hopefully have got rid of uh, the interference that was uh, the camera was picking up. But I've had a couple of complaints over. <laughs> so let's uh, let's open our photograph up or bring it into Lightburn. So we're going to import um, that one. Okay so the first thing we're going to do we'll leave it highlighted and we're going to alter the size of the photograph because it's huge actually at the moment um, rather big so I've got the lock on and uh, we'll work with the height I think because I want that just to be 100 and press enter and the other and the width will automatically go to the appropriate size. So let's just bring it into the middle of the screen somewhere. Uh, it really doesn't matter where you have it on the screen. Um, I've got this set in Lightburn that uh, it will start anywhere on the bed. Uh, and the orientation is this top corner here. So I'm just going to zoom in. So I'm just using the scroll, scroll wheel which is like that and now if you want to go to the photograph editing you just hover over it right click and come to here which is adjust image and you have two screens now the one screen here is the picture as it is brought in, the other screen is uh, as it's going to go out, I suppose you'd call it. So let's just alter the contrast a little. Um, let's try this way. So the aim, I think. Uh, what, what, what I've always done is to make the blacks black and the whites white. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's just alter the gamma a little bit just to see. Okay. And you can see, in, and it does pay to have quite a, you know, sort of powerful computer because this will change in real time and, uh, you know, you can see the immediate difference. Now, 
all the years that I have been doing laser work, this is the preferred, or my preferred, result of a picture um, suitable for a laser to, to engrave. So you'll notice, that's the original um, photograph, which is fairly high resolution. Um, now this is, you know, like I say, you need the whites to be white and the blacks to be black for the laser to actually get this down on whatever material you want to um, engrave it into. So bear in mind that the, the laser is going to fire in the black areas and it will not fire in the light areas or white areas. Now what I'm going to do is, um, first of all I'll try this out on the same setting, um, output setting, as I did in the last video, just to see what, if any, difference this type of photograph makes. Um, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the DPI is, in this case, is 600, and I'm happy with that as well. I'm going to press OK. So now our image has changed to that um, setting. Yeah, that looks fairly good. So up here. Okay, Jav Jarvis was the one that I set it to last time. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think I'm... I'm going to try it with that. Uh, 300 millimeters tempted. I'm going to leave it at that setting. Uh, I finally ended up on the last video at 300, 10% um, maximum and 2% minimum. So I was I was happy with that uh, outcome. And this is the this is the type of result, the type of dot matrix that you are going to get. Um, actual fact, that's what it's changed this to. Uh, air assist is off, but with a thunder laser, that will give you a low pressure blow in automatically. So I'm going to OK that. Um, yep, that's OK. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this now through to the laser and let's see what happens. Okay, so I've brought the head over and uh, I'm just going to press Origin on the controller and then I'm going to press Frame. Um, oh, we'll bring it over and make it look in the make it in the middle of the piece of material. Um, in actual fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this sideways, so I can have a side-to-side -side comparison then. Okay, let's reset that up. Origin frame over a little bit more so I can't too far. Yep, try that. Okay. So now we'll shut the lid down. I'll reset the camera. Oh, I think actually you're all right there. I'll just zoom in a little. I'll actually take it, take the camera in through from the front so you can uh, see a little bit more.
that's not too bad on MDF. I just want to see if we can improve that a little. Uh, I'm just going to alter the power settings uh, from maximum of 10, minimum of 2. Uh, I'm just going to alter it to a maximum of 8 and a minimum of 1 just to see what difference that makes. Okay, so here's the two examples so far. Uh, this one will... uh, This particular photograph is a uh, maximum of 10%, minimum of 2, and I altered the power setting to a maximum of 8 and a minimum of 1. And it swings and roundabouts really. We've gained some here and in the mouth area. Um, and some in the fur above his head here. But we've lost some of the picture in the middle of the face here, around the nose area. Um, so I've gone maybe a little bit too far. Um, but that's with that particular output set in. So we're going to try uh, another image that I've got and I want to try this time in grayscale. So I'll just make that alteration and uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 